Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our nation's colors, escorted by members of the Broome County Sheriff's Color Guard, followed by the singing of our national anthem, performed by Alana Haddon, class of 2022. shines and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we were were so gallantly streaming and the rocket did burst the bombs bursting in air gave proof to our night that our Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as we retire our nation's colors and for the singing of our alma mater performed by graduating senior music students at the Rod Serling School of Fine Arts.
graduates, families, and friends, please be seated. Welcome to Bingham High School's 2022 commencement ceremony. My name is Allison Loft, and I am the class president for the graduating class of 2022. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. While many view it as an expectation, graduation is no easy task. For some of us, our support system is in the audience, whether that be your friends, family, or anyone else who's helped you along the way. For others, you may have been your own support system. Regardless of who we relied on for support, each and every one of us has accomplished something truly great. And I can sincerely say how proud I am of my graduating class. We have faced tremendous adversity over the past few years, and yet here we are minutes away from one of the most important moments of our lo young lives. Today, I want you to take the time to appreciate yourself and the work you have put in to get here, for this is genuinely something special. I'm sure there are many of you in the crowd who have no idea who I am, and looking at myself, I see many unfamiliar faces. In a class with a size such as ours, it can be difficult to truly get to know one another, and yet, Despite our unfamiliarity with one another, we still have come together in astonishing ways. Personally, I spend a good amount of my time in the music department, and I've seen many concerts come and go and worked with so many talented musicians. For others in the crowd, you may be more involved in the other fine arts, working on our amazing plays, musicals, dance recitals, and art exhibits. Some others may be more involved in the many athletic activities we offer here whether that be football, soccer, softball, bowling, or any other sport you may do. Maybe you're more interested in the clubs, such as our GSA, our mock trial, or chess club. Perhaps you volunteer through some of our honor societies, such as NHS or Triumph. The common theme here is that no matter what you may be interested in, there have been so many opportunities for the many different crowds of BHS to come together and make something truly great. As some of you may know, our class has suffered the great loss of two wonderful students, Maddie Shaw and Damone Nelson. If you could all join me in a moment of silence to honor the lives of Maddie, Damone, and anyone else we may have lost in our time here. Thank you, and once again, Please take today to celebrate yourself. You all should be so proud of what you have achieved and you deserve every special moment of today. Now, please welcome the president of the Binghamton City School District Board of Education, Mr. Brian Whalen. Thank you and, and good afternoon. My name is Brian Whalen. I am the proud graduate of the Binghamton City School District and honored to be president of the Binghamton City School District Board of Education. It is my honor and privilege to welcome everyone on behalf of the Board of Education to the 2022 graduation commencement ceremonies this afternoon. It is also a blessing for all of us finally to be able to gather together to reconnect as a community to honor the accomplishments of the Binghamton High School class of 2022. I can feel the excitement in the air as we are able to see each other's faces and smiles and remind ourselves of the many things in life we take for granted. Today is a very joyous event and marks the culmination of years of hard work and commitment for each one of our graduates. It is truly an honor and privilege to bestow on all our graduates congratulations and greetings on behalf of the school board. It is also my pleasure to recognize my colleagues on the board, almost all of whom are with us today. I would ask that board members uh, stand uh, as their names are called and remain standing until all members are recognized. Thank you. Vice President Steve Seepersaw. Board members Corinne Kirk, <laughs> board member Tim Ames, <laughs> board member Ashley Montable, 
and board member Dr. Albert Penna. <laughs> Pam Kolar, who is completing her term of service on the board uh, this month, uh, was not able to be here today. Uh, but I just wanted to extend the, the thanks of the board for her service uh, and her commitment to the district. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pam. It has been a rewarding, it has been rewarding working with my board colleagues. You share your talents, commitment, and passion for this work to benefit our children and community. Thank you. This year has truly been an extraordinary one. As seniors, you have had to navigate the most unusual high school career. You've experienced an education and transition. This is an environment that no one else in my memory has, has ever had to adapt to, certainly not to the extent that you have. You, are not only, you not only have experienced learning in the classroom, but have experienced many challenges outside the classroom that will provide the coping skills you will rely on for the rest of your lives. You've acquired these skills not because, not because you wanted to, but because you had to. You have demonstrated the resiliency beyond your years and are prepared for the challenges and opportunities that await. You have earned this achievement and you should be incredibly proud of yourselves today. Today, I encourage you to, make, to take a, a moment to recognize those who helped you reach this milestone, your families. Your teachers. Your mentors. And your friends. I'm sure that living through these times has been a very heavy lift for them as well. But they were always there to support you. As you move forward, I hope you will grow your support systems and gravitate toward people that inspire you, that motivate you, that challenge you to be the best version of yourselves. With people like you and your with people like that in your life, I know you will experience many more great accomplishments ahead. Active, informed, and engaged leadership is the foundation of every successful organization. As a district, we have been blessed. I'd like to recognize our superintendent, Dr. Tanya Thompson, and her staff, who embraced the heavy burden and challenges that this year presented. They successfully navigated an educational system in flux which required multiple transitions, not only focused on education, but also laser focused on the health and safety of our students and staff. We are fortunate to have a superintendent and leadership team across the district shepherding us through a time of ever-changing direction by keeping everyone safe while reinventing education as we once knew it. Their leadership has been outstanding. Thank you. Finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our veterans in attendance. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your service. Today, among our seniors, we have seven graduates who will be entering the military in service to our country. I know that someday we'll, we will also recognize you for your service. But for now, thank you for your commitment. The Binghamton High School class of 2022 is brilliant, innovative, creative, but more importantly, they're accepting, caring, and resilient. The events you have lived through and the circumstances you have experienced have shaped you into compassionate, capable young adults 
with infinite potential and tremendous promise. Graduates, today I urge you to never underestimate or undervalue yourselves, your abilities, and your talents. You are smart, you are courageous. You are destined to do great things. You represent the hope that this world so desperately needs. It is truly an honor to represent a district that produces fine young adults like yourself. With Patriot pride, congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you, Mr. Whalen. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Tanya Thompson. Thank you, Allison. Good afternoon, and thank everyone for being here for this truly joyous occasion to celebrate the incredible class of 2022. The students that we are honoring today entered the doors of Binghamton High School in the fall of 2018, never dreaming that in the middle of their sophomore year, they would be learning solely through the interface of a Chromebook. For a year and a half, they had to navigate their education, friends, and family with an increasing dependency on technology. The rules changed overnight as they, had to work, as, as they were to demonstrate that they were present in class, how they were working in a group, and how to complete an assignment changed. Technology became more than a co-facilitator of their learning. It became a way for them to remain connected and engaged in their schooling, their community, and beyond. While technology has increased access and simplified life in many ways, it's also created environments that can cause a person to feel isolated. Most of us have experienced the feeling of spending time with someone who's engrossed in their phone for hours on end, watching as your presence doesn't seem to spark the same amazement or enthusiasm. Technology has strongly influenced the degree in which we connect and can create a false sense of connection. It reminded us all that community, friendship, face-to-face -face conversations, smiles, hugs, and genuine human contact is absolutely essential. Connecting with others does not happen without effort. We know how we now have to be intentional about our relationships to truly feel like we belong. Connection from the beginning to end must be authentic. Be intentional with those around you as you engage with others. Be selective about where you invest your time, energy, and efforts. We cannot change the fact that there are numerous ways to connect using technology, but we can change the way how we manage our relationships. Your teachers and principals had a vision for each and every one of you when you first walked through the doors of Binghamton High School. Their vision was to see you here today, for each of you to make new discoveries about yourself, and vision forms the foundation for extraordinary efforts, which we're celebrating today. Vision also lays the groundwork for creating a community and developing connections. Today, as you go forward, envision the community that you want to belong to, the people you want to surround yourself with, and the person that you hope to become. The vision will help define your future. It will be eventually the catalyst between your hopes and dreams and your eventual reality. I have had the privilege this year to witness several amazing examples of how students in this graduating class have connected with each other and promoted a sense of community inside and outside the school. I saw students like Cody Lucky and Shamoy Dixon who helped recast expectations for behavior at the high school. I watched Kia Doyle and Zyrus Batisti play on the court in support of unified basketball while hearing Zymir Thomas announce another incredible shot made by Justin, Jerry, AJ, or Mercedes. I listened to Hope Burns sing at A Taste of Broadway and heard the audience cheer her on with amazement and appreciation. I received a text from a community member in a neighboring district 
beyond impressed by Kia Du Bois and her co um, lacrosse players who traveled to watch and cheer on one of their competitors. There are countless other examples sprinkled with meaningful acts of kindness that showed ways in which our students connected and made a difference to the people and the world around them. Getting to know and connecting with both your peers and adults was central to your success at Binghamton High School. It is what took your high school experience beyond curriculum and academics and gave school meaning. Meaningful work equates to a meaningful life. Students come to school with a different set of values, a different vision and version of how life and work ought to be. They often have different ways of communicating, different ways of resolving conflict. And yet, by the end of four years, you have developed relationships with others and connected with them through a shared sense of belonging at Binghamton High School. Author, professor, and social worker Brene Brown says, connection is the energy that exists between people when they feel seen, heard, and valued, when they, when they can give and receive without judgment, and when they derive strength from the relationship. Students, I hope you continue to be connected to your friends, teachers, and mentors. Wherever you go, remember that you are forever connected to the Binghamton City School District. I hope you will always remember where you began, what you overcame, and those who have helped you get there today. And I also hope that you'll make new connections that will shape and enrich your adult lives. Opportunity is all around you. Whether your next chapter includes college, the workforce, or the military, choose an environment that is one you truly want to be a part of, an environment that inspires you to learn and grow, motivates you to be a better version of yourself, and fosters a strong connection. High school graduation is one of the most significant accomplishments of your young lives. Remain committed to being inclusive, open-minded, and seeking understanding. You all have so many more incredible achievements ahead. I simply cannot wait to see where you go, what you'll learn, and most of all, who you will become. Congratulations, and it's with great patriot pride to the extraordinary and courageous Binghamton High School Class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. Now, please welcome to the podium our Binghamton High School principal, Mr. Kevin J. Richman. Good afternoon, graduates, parents, friends, family, members of the Board of Education, and Binghamton staff who are joining us here today at Visions Veterans Memorial Arena for this very special occasion. Graduation is the pinnacle of everything we do as educators. Our goal is to ensure that all our students, starting as early as kindergarten, make it to this stage today. However, graduation is really not the end of your journey, but rather the beginning of the rest of your life. The past four years have put all of you through some tough times, especially living and learning through a pandemic that completely shifted the way schools looked and felt. That being said, each of you have risen to the occasion. I would say many of you have learned more about yourselves through the pandemic than we could have ever taught you. You learn that tough times don't last, but rather tough people do, especially those that are Binghamton Patriots. I'd like to take a moment and thank all the parents and guardians for being partners in your children's education. <laughs> parents, friends, and family members, if at this time you would all please stand. The students sitting in front of me today would not be here if it wasn't for the support of all of you. Students, if you would please stand, face your family, and give them a round of applause for all the support and dedication that they have given you.
Thank you. If everyone would please be seated. I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to thank the staff at Binghamton High School, especially the individuals joining us here tonight. Thank you for inspiring, guiding, and motivating our students. Each of you have played a part in getting our students to the stage today. Thank you. I have to give a special shout out to the Binghamton High School administrative team, whom without, I could not do my job. Mr. Clark, Mr. Lynch, Mrs. Purdy, and Mr. Veshi, thank you. In addition, there are two very special people that make today happen. Mr. Larry Casson and Ms. Anna Connolly, thank you for today. Now students, whether you started at Benjamin Franklin, Calvin Coolidge, Horace Mann, MacArthur, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, Woodrow Wilson, or another elementary school outside of our district, you are all now sitting here today because you made it. This year, we have 105 of you who are graduating as honor graduates. That means that you have completed your coursework with a GPA of 87 or higher. <laughs> 27 of you are in the National Iron Society. 10 of you are in the Business and Marketing Honor Society. Seven of you are in the Math Honor Society. Fourteen of you are in the Tri-M Music Honor Society. And two of you have graduated with the incredible goal of a full international baccalaureate diploma. Seven of you are graduating from the International Baccalaureate Career-Related Program. Fourteen of you have received the International Baccalaureate Career and Technical Endorsement. Twenty-two of you are graduating with the Project Lead the Way Pre-Engineering and Technology Distinction. Eleven of you are graduating from our P-TECH program. One hundred and six of you are graduating with the Rod Serling School of Fine Arts Distinction. And seven of you will be joining our armed forces in giving back to our country. This year, we had 18 fall senior scholar athletes, 13 winter senior scholar athletes, and 22 spring senior scholar athletes. <laughs> to be a scholar athlete, you had to have had a GPA of 90 or higher. This year, we had two senior athletes compete in the New York State track and field competition. We had one senior attend the New York State wrestling tournament. We had two Section 4 character count award recipients and one Section 4 track and field sportsmanship award recipient. Now, that being said, there's more to this graduating class than just statistics, so let me share some stories about just how incredible this group of patriots is. You have classmates going to some of the top schools in the country, including Syracuse University, <laughs> Go Orange, Ithaca College, Binghamton University, Rochester Institute of Technology, and the University of Rochester, just to name a few. Four of your classmates were part of the first ever Patriots girls flag football team. <laughs> These athletes, along with the rest of their team, won the Section 4 championship over Union Endicott, being the first winning team ever in Section 4. <laughs> These ladies truly embody the essence of Title IX. In addition, 
June 23rd is now officially named Binghamton High School School Flag Football Day in Broome County. And I don't know if you actually heard this or not, but the team has been invited by the Giants to play at their halftime game on August 21st at MetLife Stadium. One of your classmates moved to New York from Jamaica as a teenager, leaving her mother and friends. She had to assimilate to American culture and a brand new society. She quickly found her strengths and became a New Vision student in their business program. She became a top student in New Visions and at Binghamton High School and was a part of a successful business opportunity through the Launchpad Greater Binghamton Scholastic Challenge. She is sitting here today as an honor graduate, a member of the National Honor Society, the New York State Business and Marketing Honor Society. She's also received an International Baccalaureate Career and Technical Endorsement, and today she is graduating. <laughs> One of your classmates has Tourette's, but that has not stopped him from doing amazing things. He is a Tourette's Youth Ambassador with the Tourette's Association of America. He also worked with Broome County to create the first ever Tourette's Awareness Day, which now takes place on June 4th. He plans to continue his advocacy work as he continues his education at the college level. He is graduating today. One of your classmates was diagnosed with end-stage renal failure and underwent a kidney transplant often having to Zoom from the hospital to participate in all of his classes. He is a true definition of perseverance. He also received the Patriot Scholarship, where he will receive $5,000 the first year of college, and then $2,500 for each of the following three years. He'll be attending college to follow a career in the medical field. He is graduating today. One of your classmates had a desire to give back to her Binghamton High School community. She spent countless hours volunteering in, our, volunteering in our PALS classroom. In addition to working with our students during the day, she actively participated in our unified basketball program as a partner where she helped our students learn the fundamentals of the game. Besides being one of the kindest and most caring individuals, she was also one of our two seniors who enrolled in our first ever teacher preparation course. She will continue her education at the next level where she will study elementary and special education. We cannot wait for her to return to the Binghamton City School District as a teacher. She is graduating today. Four of your classmates are in our PALS program and participated in the first ever unified basketball program sponsored by the Special Olympics of New York State. During one of our regular season games, one of your classmates hit a game-winning three-point shot in overtime with six seconds left, helping to improve our overall winning record. The Patriots made it to the championship game against the Wego, where unfortunately we did not win, but that doesn't matter because today, those four individuals are all here graduating. One of your classmates had his first surgery at eight weeks of age, where they reconstructed his lip. At a year old, they repaired his palate. He has had eight surgeries to repair his cleft lip and palate before the age of 11. He has since been featured on the Syracuse University Medical Craniofacial Brochure and was just asked to be a part of the video for their team. Besides just being an amazing person, he is an honor graduate who is ranked number 13 in your class, he is a member of the New York State Business and Marketing Honor Society, as well as co-president of the National Honor Society. He is also a member of the International Baccalaureate Diploma Career-Related Program, as well as receiving International Baccalaureate Career and Technical Endorsements. He will be attending St. John Fisher College in the fall, where he will be studying finance. He is graduating today. So many of you have overcome hardships and obstacles. You've all been resilient and persevered to close this chapter of your life. To wrap up my speech, I'm going to break away from my tradition of just sharing brief snippets of amazing accomplishments of our graduates. I'm going to read a portion of one of your classmates' college essays, as it truly embodies the essence of staying humble, being grateful, and persevering. It is titled, When I Came to the United States, I Closed a Chapter of My Life 
and I began a new one. It reads, behind someone's eyes and smiles, there are secrets, a story that must be told, and this is mine. Once you tell somebody your story, their impression of you changes. The struggles, the pain, the smiles, and the positive outcomes you pulled out of life's experiences are what make or define you. We must trust the timing of life events because they have a reason. Living in Haiti for 17 years was very challenging for me. Haiti is an unpredictable country that is run by gangs, full of fear and danger, and nowadays killings and kidnappings. Often I'd get a phone call saying that a family member, friend, or even a random person I knew had been killed or kidnapped. In this country, everything was unpredictable, and in a matter of seconds, everything could change. Your own life was not in your hands anymore. I lived through my father's assassination, my, mother, my family members kidnapping, and I also saw people being killed right in front of me. Throughout these dark times, I realized I can't let my country's situation hold me back from chasing my dreams, my goals, and the future I want to build for myself. From all these experiences, which came with pain, heartbreak, and sadness, I still managed to see the positives in every single one of them and take advantage of the opportunities that came. Taking a step back, looking at the things I've been through, I can see that I've learned a lot and have grown as a person. I've also come to the realization that a country does not define who you are or the future you have. Even though I may have had setbacks many times, I have found that in every situation, a positive outcome is hidden. A positive mindset is my biggest strength. I know I have the ability to push through conflicts, and I now know the best things may take some time to come, and when they come, it may be at the least expected moment. Appreciating little things such as security, water, food, and just life in general is something that I've learned. These little things are taken for granted by many people in the United States, which are the same things the Haitian population are in desperate need of and consider as a privilege instead of a basic need. An opportunity for education is also something that people here don't appreciate. Being able to build an excellent education is something I will be ever grateful for because back home, more than half of the population is uneducated. Therefore, living through loss, fear, and danger has made me who I am today. All these events have inspired me to one day become a doctor. Everything I want, or I went through, has made me want to help people, from little kids to elderly people. My struggles made my heart become bigger and bigger, and I want to be able to help others in one way or another. I think that's what makes me different from students sitting in the same classroom as me. I appreciate the basic things in the world and want to make it a better place. My big smile hides this story. I am the living definition of never judge a book by its cover. I had to go through a lot before deciding to take my future in my own hands and take the opportunity to come to the United States to have the education and the life I deserve. I can say out loud that I am proud of the woman I am becoming. Ladies and gentlemen, she is graduating today. For the past four years, I have watched all of you grow from your challenges and rise above obstacles. Class of 2022, you have all made me and the entire Binghamton community very patriot proud. So graduates, for the last time, life will constantly test you. Look for the positives in each day. Control what you can control. Take responsibility for your actions. Demand more of yourself than others demand of you. Have a relentless pursuit of excellence. Be amazing. And remember, if no one told you loved you today, here at Binghamton High School, we do. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Richmond. We will now hear from our salutatorian, Cecilia McDonald. Good afternoon. 
I am honored to be speaking here today as class of 2022's salutatorian. I am also beyond terrified, so please bear with me. <laughs> These last four years have been quite eventful, to say the least, but we made it. Despite the challenges and hardships, we still came out with plenty of memories, closer friendships, new interests, and a unified distaste for Zoom calls. I think something we can take away from these past four years is that no matter how difficult a time may be, something good can always come from it. Personally, I'm going to miss the intense arguments about burnt toast and Mr. Wiegand's, the competitive games of Uno and Scategories and Mrs. Dewar's, Mr. Smales' attempts at a funny joke in band, the chaotic energy of Mrs. Gaska's engineering class, and so much more. As we step into this new chapter of our lives, we have to be prepared for challenges. Not everything is going to happen the way we want or expect it to, but how we react to each challenge is the most crucial part. We could choose to look back on these four years and complain about what we have lost, or we could look back and appreciate the opportunities we were still given. Each of us have a different path to take, different interests and aspirations to pursue, and many challenges lie ahead that we must learn to overcome. My advice to you is this. Remember that each day is a learning experience. Each challenge is an opportunity for growth, and each moment won't last forever, so don't take it for granted. Growing up, my dad would always sing this James Taylor song to my brothers and I that shared a very important message, saying, the secret of life is enjoying the passage of time. So no matter how uncertain you are about your futures or the challenges that lie ahead, don't forget to enjoy the ride. Now, before I go, I would like to thank the administration for putting all this together and for all your work you've done these last four years in getting us to this moment. Thank you to all the teachers and staff here at BHS for dealing with our shenanigans, and especially thank you to those who put in extra effort not only to teach us, but to build relationships with us and support us through the tough times. Thank you to the families and friends in the audience for coming to witness and support such a monumental moment in our lives. I want to personally thank my family for your endless amount of support throughout the years and for all your reassurance that I can make it through this speech today. And of course, thank you to my fellow graduates for such a memorable four years of high school. I want to wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors, and I want to leave you with the wise words of Johnny Depp. Always be yourself. Unless you can be a pirate, then always be a pirate. Thank you. Thank you, Cecilia. Now we will hear from our valedictorian, Nicholas Goulden. Good afternoon, teachers, administrators, school board members, parents, family members, and fellow classmates. To begin my speech, I would like to acknowledge the hard work that everyone has done in order to be able to sit in this arena here today and graduate. The past two years have been especially difficult for everyone in the class of 2022, and I think we all deserve a round of applause for making it through high school in the middle of a pandemic. I would also like to collectively thank the teachers and administration at the Binghamton City School District for working above and beyond, helping the students graduate and prepare for our next steps, and not getting paid nearly enough to do it. <laughs> Even though the pandemic made high school more of a challenge, the teaching staff was so creative and that made it a lot easier on us students. The teachers did an excellent job of adapting to a tough situation of online learning, 
being forced to learn and understand how to use completely new technology. This goes to show how much the teachers care about their students. When I think of the staff at Binghamton High School that have connected with me personally, I think of all the teachers who were able to motivate kids and get them interested in any topic, no matter how disinterested we may have been. Whether it's just generally being an energetic and upbeat person, showing a true passion for the subject they're teaching, or playing a weird movie parody of Romeo and Juliet just to get us excited to read the book, the staff at BHS have always worked as hard as they could to leave a positive influence on everyone graduating today. For that, we thank and are indebted to you. But in my opinion, the best, most welcoming part of the BHS community lies within the extracurricular activities. I originally wasn't going to do any extracurriculars. I only started playing in the band and running cross country because my parents suggested it before I understood the concept of free will. <laughs> now I can't imagine how different my high school experience would have been if I hadn't. I can't imagine going through high school without having band rehearsal or track practice at the end of every single day or not knowing the friends I met during those activities. The communities that are formed as a result of the extracurriculars at Binghamton High School are unlike anything else you'll find, taking people from every single background possible and finding a common interest between them, like theater, art, student government, or sports. If I never learned to branch out and give these activities a shot, my life might have been completely different. I've always struggled with trying new things, whether it was activities or food, I would always be offered to try something new and I would never want to. I'm not sure if I was just afraid of change or if I thought something bad would happen, but all I know now is that I regret it. I wish I could go back and tell my younger self to be more open to change, as the few times I was open gave me some of the best experiences of my life by joining track and music. Change can be scary, confusing, even frustrating, but it's a part of life that needs to happen and it's a part of life that should be embraced. We're all moving on to greater things, and while it's easy to get caught up in what we're leaving behind or how anxious we might feel, it's important to know that change is necessary for people to grow. I wish I'd realized that sooner, but at least now I can say with confidence that I'm ready to embrace and accept change in my life. I encourage all the members of the class of 2022 to seek out experiences you wouldn't normally consider, because the best moments in life could come from places you wouldn't normally expect them to. Thank you and congratulations to everyone in the class of 2022. Please welcome Binghamton High School, Rod Serling School of the Arts alum, class of 2018, Olivia Capozzi. Ms. Capozzi is a recent graduate State University of New York, Crane School of Music, and this fall will be entering the prestigious Manhattan School of Music.
Now to what you've all come here today for. <laughs> Dr. Thompson, President Whalen, members of the Board of Education, as principal of Binghamton High School, I certify that the students seated before us have met all the requirements as directed by the New York State Department of Education. It is my honor to present to you for the awarding of diplomas, the Patriots of Binghamton High School's Class of 2022. Yasir Abdul Latif. Malik Isaac Abdullah. McKenna Elizabeth Adams. Ishtiak Ahmed. Ibrahim El Meshni. Talea Savan Alba. Claudia Joyce Allen. <laughs> Sanaya Chanel Allen. Miranda Marie Archie. Shatora Sanaya Archie. Dazir Backman. Lucas Backus. Jamie Bailey. Justin Patrick Bailey. Nasir Baker. Christopher Paul Belchiconis. <laughs> Roman Barnes. Yeah. 
Santiago Barrera Burns. Olivia Barbara Elaine Barrett. <laughs> Matthias David Basket. <laughs> Zyrus Christian. Bautista. Robert Ernest Bacchus Baxter, the fourth. Bobby, what's the purpose? Dominic Beach. Kyan Edward Bozil. <laughs> Natalie Sharon Beebe. <laughs> Abigail Benitez. Sharissa Monet Best. <laughs> Maxwell Porter Bigelow. <laughs> Bryce Burden. Elena Nicole Blanford. <laughs> Emma Grace Bobby. Lily Rose Bosnick. <laughs> Jacob Mitchell Bothwell. Hope Aaron Burns. <laughs> Honesty Ayana Butler. <laughs> Olivia. Kamora Bird. Azalea Calapano. Nicholas Cameron. Dante Kamek.
Elijah Carter. And then Taneka. <laughs> Brian Cheney. Jasper Taguma. John Sorzinski. Aria Clapper. <laughs> Mariah Conklin. <laughs> Amaya Cooper. Robert Cooper. <laughs> Demelise Cotto. Allie Creeley. <laughs> Summershine Daniels. Kyra Davidson. Kamari Davis. Alexander Derider. You're fine. Malik Jean. Autumn Dillard. <laughs> Shamoy Dixon. Jared Dockery. Tavon Domino. Yeah. 
Solon Dosky. Dominica Dostis. Kiara Doyle. Samuel Doyle. Cameron Drayton. Kia DeBose. Taylor Dundon. Gideon Easley. Alex Easty. Layla Elbagermi. Anthony Ellis Skinner. Michael Ellsworth. Mariella Eno. Vincent Every. Abby Farahane. Ayana Fegans Wilkes. Bryce Felder. <laughs> Lamaro Francis. To Quaje Francis, <laughs> Kristen Francisco. Mariba Frazier. <laughs> Michael Frederick.
Tiana Gage. Anessa Galesic. Janan Marie Gauthier. Katrina May Giroux. Bryce Stanley Gibbs. Isaac Bradley Golden. Joshua Gomez. Robert Anthony Gonzalez, Jr. AJ Michaels Gordon Theodore Goss Nicholas Jewett Golden. Sadie May Graham. Quincy Elijah Grant. <laughs> Emily Marie Groton. Ralea Simone Graven. Jakia Marie Green. Alana Marie Haddon. Marzak Hadi. Janice Shawnee Harrison. <laughs> Bella 
Sophandra Hall. Zara Teresa Hardy. Tamar Harris. Jacob Andrew Hawley. Miguel Herrera Roque. Nathan Jameson Hodge, Jr. Harmony Rain Holman. Zachary James Howard. Zachary Paul Howell. Tatiana Stephanie Hunt. Brianna Syria Urban Springs. <laughs> Kip Aquil Isaac. Elias Jose Isles. <laughs> Ivan Jackson. Marika Kayla Jackson. Adeline Jean Philippe. Demetrius Jefferson. <laughs> Elliot May Jensen.
Devine Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Wesley Jonatus the second. Jamel Jones. <laughs> Sultan Jones. Jacquez Jordan. <laughs> Natalie Jorge Lugo. Kayvon Joseph. <laughs> Guy Sevier Julian. Mackenzie Kathleen Canick. Adnan Karik. Aldine Karik. <laughs> Ashley Marie Katz. Lewis Kennedy, Jr. <laughs> Rachel Kim. Ada Conkeel. <laughs> Isaiah Lamory. <laughs> Jack Lamory.
Samuel Lamaraglia. Lachelle Lonclos. Savannah Lang. Randy Shiler Langford. Allison Loth. Angela Lawton. Nathan Lee. Shannon Lesh. Genevieve Liu. Serena Leitner. Hayden Lipsky. Elish Lopez. <laughs> Abigail Lothian. Yeah. Okay. Cody Lucky. Dylan Lucky. Lock Lee. Corey Lynch. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them. Are they standing? I'm set. Okay. Alexander McBlain. Olivia McDonald. Ema Mago.
Janelle Mangan. Jordan Marsh. Enrico Masso de Leon. Daniel Matthias. Kyle Matthews. Samaya McCants. Cecilia McDonald. Mercy McIntyre. Ramira McCann. Imani McKenzie. Tara McMahon. Joseph Henry Miller. Noah Miller. Layla Mitchell. Farha Fawa. James William Morgan, Jr. Amina Morgan. Damone Nelson, Jr is an honorary graduate who passed away in 2021. His family will be honoring an honorary diploma on his behalf. <laughs> Catherine Newsom. Ben Nguyen. Helen Nguyen. <laughs> Lalina Nguyen. <laughs> Michael Nguyen. Min Nguyen. <laughs> T. 
Tan Nguyen. Marie Nerla Nicholas. Jason Daniel Nord Jr. Joseph Oakley. Victor Obi. Nation October. Rachel Okogo. Madison Oliveri. Darius Louise Ortiz. Brittany Palermo. Hazel Patton. John Edward Pilipovic IV. Victor Porter Jr. Ni Quach. Quinn Damiana Ramos Jamera Janea Monet Randolph Ramel Antonio Reed. Nicene Reese. Raven Remp. Akeem Richardson.
John Reifenberg. Jonah Rios. Tamara Rivers. Dylan Roberts. Rachel Robinson. Isabel Anya Rodriguez Santiago. Anthony Rodriguez. Elsie Roldan Gonzalez. Sandy Rosas. Joseph Rosenberg. <laughs> Anastasia Rossi. Janaya Rousseau. <laughs> Xavier Antonio Samuels. Michaela Sanchez. <laughs> Amani Giselle Sanders. Keon Sapp. <laughs> Dylan Search. Jerome Sewer Jr. <laughs> Demir Azario Shuford. Madeline Shaw is an honorary graduate who passed away in 2019. 
Her sister Alexis will be accepting her diploma on her behalf. Pamela Silvestri Guzman. Simons. Yeah. Noah Smalls. Harrison Smith. <laughs> Xavier Smith. Angel Soto. <laughs> Justice Soto. <laughs> Maggie Stankavich. Samantha Stanton. Griffin Stance. Gabrielle Stevens. Shane Sutherland. <laughs> Colton Swartwood. <laughs> Chanel Taylor. Zymir Willie Thomas. <laughs> Jaden Tinto Filbert. Tien Tran. Shakir Tucker. Shaquana Tucker. Chanel to it.
Talia Tyler. Adeline Utter. Tony Vigil. Gabrielle Villanella. Kendi Vindell. <laughs> Timothy Vizuri. <laughs> Emma Vimaslicky. Katherine Wagaman. <laughs> Shay Wagstaff. <laughs> Johnny Walker. Kaylee Way. Shania Weitzel. Jasmine West. Donovan White. Anwar Wilkins. Leroy Alfonso Williams. Cassidy Williamson Chin. Caleb Wood. Exadrian Woods. DeAndre Woody. Peter Wright. Demonte Humans. Staria Young. Kaimani Zamet. Yeah. 
Ethan Zavada. Nadia Zabrowski. Nicholas Zervos. Jennifer Zhang. Kara Zuno. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join as we offer our congratulations to the class of 2022. This concludes our 2022 ceremony. Graduates, please proceed to the main hallway to pick up your diplomas. Please exit the arena carefully and meet your families and guests outside of the arena by the north entrance. Have a wonderful afternoon.